Hi guys, this is Huge, and here is Charlie, who's my little bat pup. Now, I have a special skill, and one of those skills is making character pancakes. Now, today happens to be election day, so I decided to make election day pancakes. I made a Hillary and a Donald Trump pancake. I want to see if pancakes can predict who wins the election. It's Tuesday, so I'll know by tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in a steel pan. Now I could do this on my computer or iPad. Oh, look how cute they are together. Uh, but I'm gonna actually just take the real pancakes because this is video and I think that's better for the video. Okay, Charlie, you think I'm crazy, don't you? You think I'm crazy? You do, huh? Well, there are a lot of really super random polls that people use to predict who wins. Uh, a lot of them have been accurate as long as they've been around. So why not pancakes? Pancakes to predict who's gonna win. So I'm gonna do a presidential pancake poll uh, at the local mall. So I'm here at Fashion Valley Mall uh, to ask people which pancake looks most like its presidential candidate. Hey, okay, so these are two pancakes. Which pancake looks more like its presidential candidate? <laughs> they're, they're both so. They're both very, yeah, they're very both spot on. They are. So not who you're gonna vote for, but which pancake looks most like its presidential sure. pancake candidate? <laughs> oh, wow. Which one is which a more one? accurate description yeah. of the president's? Uh-huh. That I voted for? No, 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 no. no. Oh. Again, it's not who you're gonna vote for, but which one looks most like Trump or Clinton? <laughs> I'm going to have to say... Get her. Um... And you? That's a tough one. You did a really good job. Yeah. <laughs> Need to teach Thank a you. class. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I made my decision. Alright. Hillary. It, it looks most like Hillary. <laughs> I'll say this one, the Donald okay, the Trump. Yeah, the Trump. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I think Hillary Clinton has too much hair on it. I would say this Trump. Trump. Trump? Okay. Trump. Can we do it on three? Sure. Okay. One, two, three. Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but her mouth, she's like, yeah, talking. Her expression is pretty spot on. I don't know. That's a tough one. I guess. Donald Trump. That is a tough one. Donald Trump. I'm gonna go with Trump as well. I think it's Donald. Donald? Donald, yeah. Okay. I feel like Donald Trump. Yeah, I feel like Donald Trump looks more like it too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Trump. I would say Trump yeah. too. The Trump. Trump? The Trump okay. cake. Okay. I would Which... say um, Trump. Trump. Trump mm -hmm. looks most like Trump? Correct, yeah. Trump looks more like himself here. Okay, why? Uh, Trump, okay, yeah. why? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah, okay, why? Why do you think it looks more like Trump than Hillary looks? Or the Hillary one on the looks right? like a lion. She looks like a lion? It looks yeah. like, uh, I think she looks like Annette Benning. Really? Yeah. She's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> She's creepy, okay. Oh, yeah. No, I was gonna say it looks like Trump because he's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> They're both a little creepy. They're let's, both. let's be honest, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this looks more, more like Donald Trump because of the wrinkles. Because it's of a the little, wrinkles? A little okay. bit of buttocks. Okay. Um, there's, there's a lot of shadows going on. I think that fits it. Um, <laughs> it's more detailed, that's why? Pretty detailed, yeah. Every <laughs> Yeah, the hair looks pretty on point. It's the hair. The hair. <laughs> that horrible hair and that orange tint and the anger. <laughs> There's an orange through. tint? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Like Hillary. Because he's making like an angry yelling face and <laughs> like a Noompa Loompa. Because <laughs> he's orange? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Her mouth and eyes, I don't know, it doesn't look so much like her. Okay, she's a little too happy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's true because she, is, she doesn't behave this way. She doesn't behave that yeah. way. <laughs> His nose is more defined. <laughs> Trump okay. always looks that scary. Trump always <laughs> looks like he's screaming? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I think it looks like too young. Too young? Something. Okay. Yeah. I think it looks Not enough mouth. chins? Yeah, they're both yelling at us. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Trump yelling is the winner. Now, but you did you, really you, good. You've both voted for the Trump pancake. Would you vote for Trump, the real person? Oh, I'm, no comment. <laughs> now you voted for the the Trump pancake. 
Did you vote for Trump the person? I did not. No. <laughs> okay, now you voted for the Trump pancake. Would you vote for Trump the man? No. 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 Would you vote for Trump the man? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Have you heard any of the polls? Uh, the the uh, poll indicators? I have not. Okay. No. The predictors like uh, the, the Halloween mask one? No. Or the Redskin mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Or the Laker one? No. Okay. So all of those are uh, predictors of which president wins. Oh, okay. okay. So you have never heard any? Have I, you heard of any? Uh, predictors no, before? Not, not for this campaign. No. Have you guys heard of the Redskin uh, poll theory? No, I haven't. Okay, for the last 40, 50 years, whoever's won the last home game of the Redskins actually won every single election. Okay, do you okay. guys know who won the last home game for the Washington Redskins? Oh. Last home game, no. No, it was a tie in overtime, 27-27 oh, right. versus the Bengals. Oh, so. I was thinking of the title. No way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so have you guys heard of any of the weird predictors of, of elections? Yes. Yes. Well, um, what do you have so now? there's one in um, Guam. Uh, I guess since like 1980, Guam has successfully um, picked um, every presidential, um, I guess, president, um, <laughs> uh, except for one when there was a big um, like typhoon and people couldn't actually vote in Guam. Oh, people couldn't so vote though. That was the only reason why. Right. Okay, that's and, really um, interesting. I've heard that one. This morning it was announced um, Hillary won with 77. Hillary won. Oh wow, yes. 77. That's yeah. a pretty big yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> pretty big one. <laughs> So, yes. Okay, thanks, that's really cool. Okay, have you guys heard of the Laker theory? No. Okay, so there's pe there's things that people use to predict who's gonna win. Uh, if the Lakers have uh, made it to the championship in that year, the incumbent wins. They didn't make it into the finals. So, according to that poll, um, Hillary's gonna win. Okay. okay. So it means she's not going to win. No, it means she is going to win, according to the Laker theory. Wait. No. Like the, the, yeah, there's a, the, there's the uh, Halloween mask theory. That's uh, rang true since. Oh, I've never heard that. Okay, so since 1980, whichever mask wins, that presidential candidate actually wins the election. So oh. Reagan won the, that very first one, and this year, do you know who won? Won? No. No. Okay, it was it was Trump. Yay! <laughs> That's a yay. <laughs> but we are friends. But we are friends. <laughs> I think Hillary's gonna win though. You think yes. Hillary's gonna you yes. think Hillary's gonna I think win though? Hillary's gonna win though. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what about you? I'm voting for Hillary. You're voting for Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> no even though Halloween even masks though, say the, the the curse will be broken this year. Curse will be broken? <laughs> okay. Okay. It is. So who do you I hope think? Not. Who do you think? It is the year of change. Who do you like more? No. <laughs> hey, cheating. That's cheating in the polls. And we Dad count. we we <laughs> with her! We all love each other too. Okay. Yes, we do. All right. So the poll's done, and uh, who won? It was a landslide. 98% uh, of people said the Trump pancake looked more like Trump than the Hillary pancake. You're fired. Well, that's pretty much it. I gotta go to the polls right now because it's almost time. To Okay, I'm back home now, and Charlie's watching the election. So, Charlie, how's it going so far? Charlie, who's winning? <sighs> okay, so now we are gonna watch the election and the results. Um, so, who am I voting for, or who did I vote for? I'm not going to say, and there's a reason for that. This has not been a political post, this is actually a business post, and I believe that uh, politics have no business in most business. Now, the reason why I made this uh, video in the first place is C Casey Neistat, YouTuber of the Year, uh, a few weeks ago posted this video calling out people to share who they're voting for and specifically to vote for one particular candidate. I avoid talking politics on this channel, on this forum, because politics are divisive. There's always two sides. That is the nature of a healthy democracy. But this is not that. This is about a megalomaniac who's driven by nothing but ego. A man who cares exactly zero about the people of this country. A person who brags about sexually assaulting women and shames others for the way they look. I'm speaking up now because this election has very little to do with politics, policy, or legislation. This has to do with morals and principles. There is something much more valuable than subscribers or dollars, and that's backbone. So if your favorite YouTuber says things like, I don't like to talk politics on my channel, or I'm not gonna reveal who I'm voting for, call them out. 
I think that's okay if you happen to be in entertainment and especially in YouTube because the more negative views and comments, the more attention you're still getting paid. Uh, however, I want to speak particularly to mentors. Uh, now, when it comes to politics, this is the closest thing to politics you're going to see on my channel. And the reason why is because I believe politics have no business being in business. Okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, so for if you are a mentor, I am a business mentor and I mentor a lot of people who would like to make a six-figure income. I have a lot of mentors and successful mentors who are very, have been very vocal during this campaign about who they're voting for uh, and a lot of that revolving around Roe v. Wade. So, Charlie's back. Uh, he got in the bone. Okay, so the reason why I don't talk about politics, even though I have very strong views on politics, is because I believe most politics falls in what one of my big mentors, Jim Rohn, uh, calls the not much category. You can stay the same so that the next six years will be like the last six. Take a look at the last six years. And I'm telling you, the next six years of your life is going to be like the last six. Or unless you want to count on this short list that we call not much list, most everybody's counting on this not much list. What if all of your negative relatives turn positive, what would that do for your future and your fortune? What? Not much. Not much. What if prices came down a little, what'll that do for your future? If the economy gets a little better, what'll that do? Not much. Now that the Democrats are in power, what's that going to do for your future? Not much. Uh, not much. We, got it. we could get a good debate going here. If the Republicans would have stayed in power, what would that have done? Not much. Hey, we could get a good debate going here. I'm telling you, it's a not much list. If you don't make plans of your own, guess what? You'll probably always fit into someone else's plans. Guess what someone else may have planned for you? Not much. then what's going to make the difference? You're going to have to make the difference. You're going to have to take charge. Now, Mr. Schoff, my teacher gave me a promise, and I want to give you that promise now. Here was the promise I got, and I bring it to you. Here's what my teacher said. If you will change, Mr. Rohn, he said, if you will change, everything will change for you. Now, if you are a mentor or a wannabe mentor, um, the, the whole point is, is that you've got people that want to be you are coming to you for mentorship. But you also have people who you would like to be mentored by. Now, a lot of successful mentors, they're somewhat successful. They're decamillionaires or millionaires. They're not super successful. Super successful people tend to be uh, vote Democrat. The, the 19 mentors that I have uh, named and want to be my personal mentor, and I will have some of them as mentors, is are, are all voting uh, Democrat. People like Mark Cuban, or Chris Saka, or Chamath Palihapitiya, or even Casey Neistat. These are people who I would like to be my mentor. Uh, what if my airing out my very strong views uh, alienated a, a potential mentor, most of them, again, voting Democrat. Most uh, uh, somewhat successful mentors, they vote Republican. But most people that they're mentoring to uh, vote Democrat. So here's my whole point. If, if the message that you put out there is are things that are in the not much category, and I believe politics for the most part are in the not much category, you're doing yourself a disservice because not only are you alienating yourself from mentees who are in a lower uh, socioeconomic class than you, but you're also alienating yourself from the super successful billionaires and centimillionaires. Uh, that <laughs> he loves his bone. Ah. Okay, good boy, good boy. All right, so um, anyhow, so that's my whole point. I hope you guys like this. If you guys would like to see how I make those pancakes, uh, then add me on Snapchat. I post every single week, and that is Dynasty Batman uh, on Snapchat. Now, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, uh, I give business mentoring advice for people who, and I promise I won't do any political posts, anything to alienate you. Uh, you will find tips and strategies and principals and other mentors who uh, are making it happen and can help you make it happen. You know, in order for things to change, you have to change. If you will just change your philosophy, 
everything in your life will change. I strongly believe that and I hope that you will uh, trust not only myself but other mentors even if their political views differ from yours. Thanks so much you guys for watching. Okay, Charlie, you tell me which pancake deserves to win. Charlie, Charlie, which pancake? You choose which one. Which one, buddy?